Carrie Bouquet. This is the Smithsonian's Caribbean Coral Reef Ecosystems Program. This research facility is located 15 miles off the coast of Belize, and it's a great place for researchers to come and do any kind of field work. Researchers come here to do work in the mangroves, in the seagrass, in the coral reefs, and in the open ocean, because as you can see, we are located very close to all of those ecosystems. We have a fleet of three boats that researchers are welcome to use whenever they would like. They can get to the open ocean, to the seagrass, to the coral reefs, and to the mangroves, all in a very short boat ride. Why don't you come with me and I'll show you around the facility. Researchers started coming here in 1973 for just a few weeks and a few months at a time. But now researchers are here all throughout the year. We can have up to six researchers here at a time and along with the researchers there's always a station manager and a cook on the island. Station managers are here to make sure that researchers have everything they need. Boats have fuel, scuba divers have plenty of full dive tanks. The cook will provide plenty of ample meals and no one will ever go hungry on the island. Researchers stay anywhere from one to three weeks at a time. Some researchers stay for a little bit longer, but for the most part, it's one to three weeks at a time. This is the main building on Caribou Key. This is where we have the kitchen. This is where we have a dry lab, a wet lab, and a seawater lab. We also have a shop, quarters for the station manager to stay, a library, and the cook's bedroom. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this building has to offer. And this is the seawater lab. This is where researchers can come and they can have access to as much fresh seawater as they need. The water is pumped directly from the dock into this room where researchers can set up buckets and bins and keep anything alive for as long as they need. And now you guys can follow me into the wet lab. And this is the wet lab. This is where researchers come and they bring any samples that they've collected in the field and then they can do whatever they need to with them in here. Researchers bring buckets of water, they bring mangrove muck, they bring their coral samples, they bring whatever they need into this lab where they can get things wet and dirty and not have to worry about it. And this is the kitchen. This is where Martha prepares all of our meals, all of our snacks, all of our treats and she makes sure that we have all the fuel we need to do all the research we need to do. She feeds us three meals a day and she always makes sure there's plenty of cake and cookies for us as well. And this is the shop. This is where we have all the tools we need to fix anything that breaks. Since we're 15 miles off the mainland, we have to be pretty self-sufficient out here. And this is the dry lab. This is where researchers will set up anything that can't get wet, like their computers, their microscopes, and their cameras, because up here it's protected from salt water and people shouldn't be bringing buckets of salt water or mangrove muck or anything else up here. And this is the library. When the weather doesn't allow us to get out and do research, we can always come up here and grab a book or sit down and watch a movie and wait it out. We also have a number of hammocks around the island where we can grab one of the books from the library and go to the hammock and take a little bit of time to read a book. So we have two dorms. We also have a building that has our showers and our scuba compressor and generator. And this is our dive locker. This is where you'll have a, a supply of full scuba tanks and you'll have room to hang your scuba gear to dry. This is our dive compressor and generator. Behind me there's a table that has plenty of dive weights on it. And beyond that, there are drums that always have fresh rainwater where you can rinse your dive gear. The rainwater goes from the roof into these cisterns where it's collected and stored. And then we can turn a valve and have plenty of water for rinsing our dive gear. And these are our showers where you can have a nice hot shower anytime you want. And this is one of six of the researchers' sleeping quarters. 
where there's always a nice cool breeze and a great ocean view. Martha rings the bell anytime the meals are ready. We're very isolated out here. Obviously, we don't have a sewer system. We have composting toilets, which work great, and I've had nothing but compliments about them. The waste is turned into compost, and it's used to feed all our plants. This is our old outhouse, but it's now turned into a nesting platform for our resident osprey. Not only is Caribou a great place to do research, but it's a beautiful island to spend time in.